Shalom, King Kashim Balak Kashim. Let's go over Bible, all right? Now, the Bible came from the church, Sirs, the whore of Babylon, who is the Lady of Biblos, the Lady of Bible, the Lady of Babel, confusion. You feel what I'm saying? Now, church is the Tower of Bible. The Tower of Bible. The Tower, the tower of Babel. Ecclesiastes 1, 9, there's nothing new under the sun. You feel what I'm saying? Revelations 18, 4, come out of her, my people. Come out of church. Come out of search. Come out of the Lady of Confusion. The Lady of Babel. The whore of Babylon. Right? Because... Our ancestors were given the Bible during slavery. Our history, our scriptures were taken, stolen, just like the Book of Mormon, Mormon, whitewashed, and given back to us to enslave us. We were their cattle, right? And Bible, Bible, Bible means, it also means fodder for cattle so the bible was fodder for cattle for the slaves it was spiritual food to destroy us and i say spiritual i don't mean the right i mean fallen angels wickedness and wicked spirits it was fodder for the cattle for the slaves you know what i'm saying so that's what the bible is that's what Bible is. And that's what the Tower of Bible Church does. To keep us confused from understanding the Hebrew language, the mysteries in the scriptures, and the truth about Yahya Shah, who is Yahya, everything. To be Kadaya Shah, set apart. You feel me? So, in the Book of Mormon, 2nd Nephi, Nephi, chapter 12, verse 12, says, Yeah. And there shall be many which shall teach after this manner false and vain and foolish doctrines and shall be puffed up in their hearts and shall seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahiah. And their works shall be in the dark and the blood of the saints shall cry from the ground against them. Yeah, they have all gone out of the way. They have become corrupted because of pride and because of false teachers and false doctrines. Their churches have become corrupted. And their churches are lifted up because of pride. They are puffed up. They rob the poor because of their fine sanctuaries. They rob the poor because of their fine clothing. And they persecute the meek and the poor in the heart. Because in their pride, they are puffed up. They wear stiff necks and high leads. Yeah, and because of pride and wickedness and abominations and whoredom, they have all gone astray. Save it be a few which are the humble followers of Yahya Nevertheless, they are led that in many instances they do err because they are taught by the precepts of men. O the wise and the learned and the rich that are puffed up in the pride of their hearts and all they that preach false doctrines and all they that commit whoredoms and pervert the right way of Yahiah. Woe, woe, woe be unto them, save Yahiah Almighty. Alahiah. For they shall be thrust down into hell, lake of fire, Gehenna. Woe unto them that turn aside the just for a thing of naught, nothing, and revile against that which is good, and say that it is of no worth. For the day shall come that Allah will speedily visit the inhabitants of the earth, and in that day they are fully ripe in iniquity, they shall perish. But behold, if the inhabitants of the earth shall repent, Shabaya, of their wickedness and abominations, they shall not be destroyed, save Yahya of hosts. But behold, that great and abominable church, the whore of all the earth, the whore of Babylon, must tumble to the earth, and great must and great must be the fall thereof, for the kingdom of the devil must shake, 
and they which belong to it must need to be stirred up into repentance. Or the devil will grasp them with his everlasting chains, and they will be stirred up to anger and perish. For behold, at that day shall the rage in the hearts of the children of men, and stared. For behold, at that day shall the rage in the hearts of the children of men, and stir them up to anger against that which is good. And others will he pacify and lull them away into carnal security, that they will say, All is well in Sion. Yes, Sion prospers, all is well. All is well. And thus the devil cheateth their souls and leadeth them away carefully down to hell. And behold, others he flattered away and telleth them there is no hell. And he sent him unto them, and he said unto them, I am no devil, for there is none. And thus he whispered in their ears until he grasped them with his awful chains, from which there is no deliverance. And they are grasped with death and hell. And death and hell and the devil and all that had been seized therewith must stand before the throne of Yahiah and be judged according to their works. From whence they must go into the place prepared for them, even a lake of fire and brimstone, which is endless torment. Therefore, woe be unto him that is at ease in Sion. Woe be unto him that crieth, all is well. Yeah, woe be unto him that hearkeneth unto the precept of men and denieth the power of Yah and the gift of the right Kadiah Shah, set apart spirit of deliverance. And, and yeah, woe be unto him that said, we have received and we need no more. Hmm, we only got the King James, we got church, we got the camps, we good. Right. And, and fine, woe unto all they that tremble and are angry because of the truth of Yahiah, the truth. For behold, he that is built upon a rock, receive it with gladness. And he that is built upon a sandy foundation, trembleth lest he shall fall. Woe be unto him that shall say, we have received the word of Yah, and we need no more of the word of Yah, for we have enough. Hmm. For behold, thus saith Allahiah Yahiah, I will give unto the children of men, line upon line, and precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. And Baraka, bless, are they that hearken to my precepts, and lend an ear to my counsel, for they shall learn wisdom. For unto him that receiveth I will give more, and them that shall say, We have enough, from them shall be taken away even that which they have. Hmm. Cursed is he that putteth his trust in man, or maketh flesh his arm, or shall hearken unto the precept of men, save that precept shall be given by the power of the Rakadiah Shah, set apart spirit for deliverance. Woe be unto the Gentiles, Gaim, save Alahiah Yahiah, for now withstanding I shall lengthen out my arm unto, unto them from day to day, they will deny me. Nevertheless, I will be merciful unto them, saith Allah Yahiah, if they will repent and come unto me, for my arm is living out all the day long, saith Allah Yahiah of hosts. But behold, there shall be many at that day when I shall proceed to do a marvelous work among them, that I may remember my covenants which I have made unto the children of men. These are Chazayah revelations. That I may set my hand again a second time to recover my people, which are of the house of Yasharal, and also that I may remember the promises which I have made unto thee, Naphaya, Nephi, and also unto the Father, that I will remember your seed, and that the words of your seed shall proceed forth out of my mouth unto your seed, and my words shall hitch forth unto the ends of the earth for a standard unto my people, which are of the house of Yasharal. And because my words shall go forth, many of the Gaim Gentiles shall say, A Bible, a Bible, we have got a Bible, and there cannot be any more Bible. But thus saith Allah Yahiah, O fools, they shall have a Bible, and it shall proceed forth from the Jews, my ancient covenant people, and what think they? the Jews for the Bible, which they received from them. Yeah, what do the Gentiles mean? What do the Gaia mean? Do they remember the travails and the labors and the pain of the Jews, the Yehiadah, Yehiadah, and their diligence unto me in bringing forth deliverance unto the Gentiles, Gaia? O ye Gaia, 
have you remember Yahayada, my ancient covenant people? Nay, but ye have cursed them and have hated them and have not sought to recover them. But behold, I will return all these things upon your own heads, for I, Yahya, have not forgotten my people. Thou fool that shall say, a Bible. We have got a Bible, and we need no more Bible. Have ye obtained a Bible, save it were by Yahya Now, know ye not that there are more nations than one? Know ye not that I, Allah, Yahya, have created all men? And that I remember they which are upon the isles of the sea? And that I rule, that I rule in the Shamayim above all? And that I rule in the heavens above and in the earth beneath. And I bring forth my word unto the children of men, yea, even upon all the nations of the earth. Wherefore, murmur ye, because that ye shall receive more of my word. Know ye not that the testimony of two nations is a witness unto you that I am Yahiah? Mm. And that's Ezekiel chapter 37. Verse fifteen to twenty-eight, when he says, "Know ye not that the, know ye not that the testimony of two nations is a witness unto you that I am Yahya, that I remember one nation like unto another, wherefore I speak the same words unto one nation like unto another." Why you think the Book of Mormon is just like the Bible? You know what I'm saying they just removed the white watch each book, and when the two nations shall run together. The testimony of the two nations shall run together also. And I do this that I may prove unto many that I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. That I am Yahya, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that I speak forth my words according to my own pleasure. And because that I have spoken one word, ye need not suppose that I cannot speak another. For my work is not yet finished, neither shall it be until the end of man. Neither from that time henceforth and forever. Wherefore, because that ye have a Bible, ye need not suppose that it contains all my words. Neither need ye suppose that I have not caused more to be written. For I command all men, both in the east and in the west and in the north and in the south and in the islands of the sea, that they shall write the words which I speak unto them. For out of the books which shall be written, I will judge the world. Every man according to their works, according to that which is written. For behold, I shall speak unto Yahiadah, and they shall write it, the Jews. And I shall also speak unto the Nephilim, Nephites, and they shall write it. And I shall also speak unto the other tribes of the house of Yashara, which I have led away. And they shall write it. And I also shall speak unto the nations of the earth, and they shall write it. And it shall come to pass that Yahiadah, shall have the words of the Nephilim, the Jews and the Nephites, and the Nephilim shall have the words of Yahiadah, and the Nephilim and Yahiadah shall have the words of the lost tribe of Yasharal, and the lost tribe of Yasharal shall have the words of the Nephilim and Yahiadah. And it shall come to pass that my people, which are of the house of Yasharal, shall be gathered home unto the lands of their possession, and my word also shall be gathered in, gathered in one. And I will show unto them that fight against my word, and against my people, which are the house of Yasharal, that I am Yahya, and that I covenanted with Abraham, Abraham, that I will remember his seed forever. Shalom.